Namaste and greetings and welcome to my YouTube channel, Healing the Planet from Within. My name is Santosha and I talk about all things personal development and spiritual development to improve your life. In this video, I wanted to share with you my experience of staying with the Kriya Yoga Ashram in Rishikesh in India which I had the greatest honor to stay there for a few weeks in the past few months. Um, to me, it was amazing. I mean, there's pros and cons of staying at this ashram. And so, you know, if you're thinking about going and staying there, it's worthwhile knowing the whole picture, right? So the Kriya Yoga Ashram is on the main road. It's a circular building, quite spectacular to see. When I first went there in 2019, there was not a big wall there where the main road is, but now there's a big wall because that main road has gotten very busy. So staying at the ashram is very loud. <laughs> it's it's very noisy there's construction at the ashram or around the ashram and the busy road so my first couple of days of staying there i was like in shock like whoa i couldn't sleep you know i i found it difficult i shifted rooms to a room at the other side away from the the traffic noise and finally, I could get some sleep. I also bought some earphones. I started to listen to, you know, my meditation music before going to sleep. And all those worked. But the one thing that made it really amazing to stay at the ashram, regardless of all the noise, in fact, the noise kind of disappeared. It just became like background noise that it didn't affect me anymore, was learning the Kriya Yoga technique. Now, I had become initiated into Kriya Yoga last year when I was in Rishikesh for about a week, brief amount of time. And I didn't get the opportunity to learn the whole practice. So this time, I mean, Guru Dev wasn't there, but he instructed one of his devotees, who's an approved teacher, to teach me the techniques, to guide me through the techniques. Um, was a very good teacher. He was very thorough, um, very specific, but also I didn't come with a lot of questions. Um, I just sought out a few minor tweaks to the whole thing according to my needs. Whereas I've some, I've saw some people who learn the Kriya Yoga technique and have like a thousand questions about where they should put their mind and this and that and the other thing. But I've been involved in energy healing and the movement of energy for many, many years. And so I was familiar with the process of just sinking in and surrendering to the techniques, to the step-by-step -step process, because it starts to evolve something with inside of you. Um, this is even true for Reiki. Um, and now I'm not talking about the watered down version of Reiki. I'm talking about the original advanced practice um, where the energies and you sink into them for some time and do the techniques that you're taught in Reiki 1 and Reiki 2. The energies themselves start to train you. This is the same with Qigong. I was in Qigong training back in 1996 um, and martial arts before that and you just learn that the more you turn inwards, the more experience you have, you gain. Okay, so the Kriya Yoga Ashram was very noisy, but with the practices, it became less important, the noise. One thing that's amazing about this ashram is the meditation hall. The meditation hall, if you've ever been, is amazing. It's a circular, it's circular. It's silent inside. You can just barely hear the traffic. You didn't used to, but now there's a lot of traffic. Um, absolutely amazing. You walk in through these curtains and it's 
dark in there so you take some time for your eyes to adjust going down the stairs <laughs> turn on your torch on your phone when you first enter the meditation room if you need to find those steps safely um, but not to shine it around the room because other people could be there meditating so i spent a lot of time in the meditation hall um, i think it's big enough to put 200 people in i'm trying to count the cushions on the floor there's a lot of cushions i can imagine a lot of people could fit there um yes okay so all of this so far was before guru dev before guruji came to the ashram because he was staying in odisha where he also stays odisha or rishikesh so um but when he came ah. Uh, it was such an amazing moment for me. I felt something inside of me like shift, like this is um, Gurudev here. Um, this is the lineage going through. Um, it's just absolutely amazing to meet someone who's been trained directly by the masters, right? In Kriya Yoga, this is the authentic Kriya Yoga practice. Um, such such a blessing, such a blessing to to learn knowledge that's from Babaji, right? So such a blessing. Um, yes. Yeah, so this is um, when Guru Dev came. He led us through the Kriya Yoga practice, step by step meditation. <gasps> that just took my practice to a whole other level. I was absolutely amazed the shifts that I had inside, the insights that came. I was like, for instance, let me give you an example. There is a particular practice there after you're doing one, two, three, four practices. There's another one. It's secretive, so I can't mention it <laughs> because you need to learn it from an authentic teacher directly. But there's a particular practice that opens up the Ida and Pingla where the shashumna is the energy, the prana can throw, flow through your shashumna. So I'm swaying like this and Guruji says that and I'm thinking, ah, oh, that's what that feels like. <laughs> that was one, one insight. So it confirmed for me what I do in my daily practice, um, working with the qi energy because of my experiences in martial arts and qigong. Um, and sitting in meditation, how my body naturally flows. This is what it means. The energy is flowing, right? Up through the Shishuma. I didn't know this. I thought, ah, okay, confirmation. And the other thing that was confirmed for me when Guru Dev oh, Guru led, leads the meditation, he holds space with such high vibration. It's something you should experience. The initiation, learning the technique, and then the guidance with Guru Dev. Um, when we got up to the higher practice, like later on, I think the fifth or sixth practice, I saw light. I've never seen light that big, except for when I was standing in front of the Dalai Lama and when I was in a small room during the reading of the Quran and a few other times. But this was cool because this was a guided meditation that would lead me to seeing it. I can feel it, but seeing it is a completely different thing for me anyways, okay, with my senses and abilities. So we get up to that state and that state of the God source up in Saraswara, just to surrender to that source and stay there as long as you can, feeling that bliss of no thought. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. So it was a blessing being at the Kriya Yoga Ashram. Um, the building is amazing. Let me just walk you through the building a little bit. I did record some videos, so I'm hoping you can kind of, kind of get a feel for it. Um, when you first enter into the door, into the front door, you'll notice that you go down, it's down. That's where the office is, where there's beautiful smiling people welcoming you. <laughs> um, and then downstairs is where the meditation hall is. You go around because it's a round building. You go around. So you just walk around. I was staying in room, was it, 8 or 11 there, so you can see which room I was staying in. And you go around, right? But around that, you'll see the curtain. And you go through that curtain. You're parted open. You can go through that into the meditation hall. Get someone to show you for the first time. 
back in, in, in 2019 was my first experience and I met someone random who goes there to meditate and he took me into the hall um, for the first time. I had no idea what I was doing. It was an amazing experience. And since then, I've taken so many people <laughs> to do the Kriya Yoga Meditation Hall because of the experience. In fact, two of my friends ended up coming to stay there while I was there. So that was kind of fun. <laughs> um, okay, so then if you don't go into the meditation hall, you're going around, then you can start going up, like up the stairs, and then another one at the top, and then another one, and still yet one more set of stairs after the sound room. That must be, I don't know, I should have got the story when I was there, but the amazing sound that this one place gives. And then you go upstairs onto the rooftop. And here I am in Rishika, staying at the Kriya Yoga Ashram, deepening my understanding and doing the practices of Kriya Yoga. Now on the rooftop is where all the laundry is hung, all the people who stay there, um, you hang up your laundry there. But also there's like the swinging chairs and cushions and you can sit, but you can also overlook the city. And that's where I watched Holy from because I arrived a few days before Holy. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that because the town gets crazy busy. <laughs> um, Rishikesh has become like the party town nowadays, right? Every weekend people are coming in from Delhi or wherever and they go whitewater rafting and partying. And that's like pre after COVID, right? Pre COVID, it was not like this so much, but after COVID, it became like party town. So every weekend it's crazy, but during Holy, all the accommodation was booked and it became like this very colorful party town. <laughs> it was nice. I was watching it from the roof. I was like, whoa. <laughs> um, but you can also see the Mother Ganges. The, the Mother Ganges is known to be a very sacred, powerful river. Um, and it's worthwhile bathing in because it, it removes negative energy, absolves karma, past life karma, and brings you to moksha, um, the state of enlightenment. So, but there's so many opportunities to do that here in India. Absolutely amazing place to be. So, um, okay, so going around the building, there was con some construction happening there when I was there. Some There's a new... A building at the back where Gurudev did the um, fire puja and initiation for new um, participants into Kriya Yoga. So I was there during that and was recording the initiation, not the whole initiation part, but the pre and the after, <laughs> um, which was nice. <laughs> And the kitchen is getting revamped at the moment or built a new building, new people doing the food. So the food was not um, the best. Uh, I certainly have experienced better food at ashrams. Sometimes there was pasta for breakfast, like maida pasta. My body can't handle maida pasta. So it's usually uh, I had to go and look to see if it was food I could eat. And then I would eat outside, which is completely fine. The food comes with the accommodation at the Kriya Yoga Ashram. Um, it did when I was there anyways. So overall... I would say my experience was amazing because I was learning the Kriya Yoga technique and practicing and was able to ask her to have any questions um, to advance my practice. The people there, um, some of the people there were absolutely amazing and dedicated to the journey of the Kriya Yoga. Um, very welcoming, warm, friendly, um, heart-centered people. Um, some people that were staying there were um, backpackers just coming to stay, not really doing any Kriya Yoga practice. They would come to stay, which I gave, gave them the opportunity to learn what Kriya Yoga is about. Um, there was a group of uh, Russians that came to stay. I don't know how many there were, 20 or something. They didn't come to any of the Kriya Yoga meditation um, sessions, which is like six in the evening and six in the morning. Instead, they were out doing Hare Krishna service. Um, 
I don't know why you'd want to stay at a Kriya Yoga meditation ashram um, if you're not interested in learning. So, um, but yeah, so there's a huge variety of people, uh, some people like dedicated and long-term staying at the ashram and, and focusing on the spiritual development. Some people would come along and uh, talk on their phones in their rooms and be like, you know, like they were hanging at a backpacker's place. <laughs> I guess that makes sense if that's what you're doing. So, um, so I think, you know, the Kriya Yoga Ashram may be in transition with that. But for me, the overall experience was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Life-changing moments. Um, being in that building, which is sacred geometry that Guru Dev designed. So, okay. So again, oh, such a blessing to stay at the Kriya Yoga Ashram. Um, oh, and there's one other thing too, is that I was able to read, um, I borrowed the book, the Kriya Darshan book um, that Guru Dev actually wrote about the Kriya Yoga practice. And that's where I learned a lot more about it. I know there's more on this journey for me. And so at some point in time, I will be going back and staying at that ashram or the one in, Do in Odisha and deepening my, my spiritual development practice with Kriya Yoga. It did confirm a lot for me and opened up some things on my spiritual journey. So yeah, okay. So again, my name is Santosha and you're on my YouTube channel, Healing the Planet from Within, where I talk about all things personal development and spiritual development and even share some of my journey with you so that you might be inspired to go along your journey. Uh, because honestly, diving into this journey of becoming a seeker and learning so much from so many different beliefs and cultures and religions, it advances your life, spiritual development and personal development improves your life and it makes life so much more enjoyable. So, okay, well, thank you again for watching and please, you know, hit subscribe to, to hit subscribe, <laughs> subscribe, follow, um, and come along my journey with me. You'll see throughout my videos that I am on a journey and you get to witness this on my YouTube channel. And one day, one day with any luck, we'll get to meet. I'll come to your country. <laughs> Namaste.